Welcome back to another trading session. Guys, if you're subscribed, we appreciate it as usual. Rivian just blew my mind. You know, as I told you guys, 100%, I trade Rivian on a day-to-day -day basis. No, I made a video earlier and this morning in the 9 o'clock um, belts, and I said, hey, expect Rivian to break anywhere from 138 to $140 per share. Now, I was blown away because Rivian is on path to break $150 per share. Now, I let you guys in. Um, and I and I told you guys that hey, a hundred dollars per share for me was pricey to go long term. So I was only doing short term trading on a day to day basis. Um, so far it worked out. Um, I'm, I'm up now around thirty five, thirty six percent. Um, that's the combine of tradings that I do on a day to day basis. I trade in the pre market and the off the market as well. I made a few buys earlier this morning um, in Rivian. Uh, one buy was, let's see, Rivian was 128.49. And then I bought some also at 128.06. So for those buys, I'm, I'm up a bit. I'm excited. But guys, did news that shut it up. In terms of Amazon, um, they increased their stake. They bought more shares, but obviously at $78 per share, not $146 per share. And this is why I said I'm still sticking by my approach. Um, I do believe that 100 or 148 per share is still high until these, until they can prove that they're actually selling. Now, that doesn't um, take away that you can still trade in the interim, in the day trading or in the short term. Again, I've made close to 40% by just doing day trade after IPO. I told you I got in just below um, 96, so I was able to make a few short-term trade um, at 125, also at 135, got back in, as I said, 128, and now we see and we break 148, right? So if we take a look right now, we're up 14% for the day. Um, again, guys, you could have got in in the early morning at 127.52. Now, in the pre-market, it was below 126 per share. So if you're taking advantage of the pre-market trading, you can definitely make a lot of money in Rivian. Now, as usual, guys, please do your research. There's no guarantees in the stock market as this price could reverse. Um, so if you're, if you're invested, make sure that you're doing your research. Make sure that you're keeping on top of news that's coming out. But it's looking pretty sweet for Rivian so far. If we take a look in the last five days, as I said, I got in just around in the 96 per shares. That was back on November 10th. So pretty much five days back last week. And since that time, I've made a few sells. Each time it, it breaks open, I sell. And then I wait for a pullback. And then I keep just buying and selling. So if you guys are watching this, I'm not recommending you guys to go in at 148. As even though the news with Amazon, they're sitting at 20 billions right now in terms of their um, their invested amount in the company, um, they're still bought in at $78 per share. They're not bought in at $148 per share. So they already made 100% on their investment so far. So I'm not taking that news as a sign to jump all in at this time. Still trade with precaution. But as I said, um, they're on path and to break 150 today. Now, this morning when I created that video for Lucid. I let you guys know that it could break 140 per share. And now we blew past that. So it is a big statement by Rivian. And we saw that Tesla was down at 989, 986 at one point. So it's looking good for Rivian. So again, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you bought before, if you sold, if you're holding, if you're selling. Um, uh, let's see what the family is doing. Again, I kept only profits in. As usual, when I buy and sell, I I normally take my capital out and keep buying and selling and then leaving uh, my profits in any company I invest in. So until next time, guys, like, share and subscribe and peace out.